Welcome to another Darktable tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to apply masks to our images. So it's just a basic intro to using masks. And what mask lets us do is mask out a certain part of the image and apply different modules or effects to only that part of the image. Uh, masks can be very simple shapes or very complex, and we'll learn how to do those in this video. I have images here I've downloaded from wesaturate.com. I'm gonna use this one for our example. Um, you can download this and follow along. I'll include the link in the description of this video if you want to follow along uh, in this tutorial with this exact image. So over here to the left, we have our history. And I had a step that I applied here that I'll be showing you how to recreate. Basically, the only thing I've done here is applied the monochrome module. And then I've masked out just this part, a, a simple circle around the eye. We can see what that looks like. Um, this mask. And it's doing a drawn mask right here and it's just a circle. Oh, there's a second one. So we could apply this a second time. If there were two eyes, we could have the other eye over here. But we see everything within this circle is not being affected, and everything outside of the circle is being affected by this monochrome. And that's because we have it inverted down here at the bottom, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's just undo this whole thing. So we'll turn this off, and actually we'll just come over to this base. We'll go back one step in history and hit compress history stack. So it's as if that never happened now. And then also under our mask manager, I'm just going to uh, right click and go clean up unused shapes. So this is how yours will look. Under mask manager, you'll have no shapes and you'll just be left with this stock image. And monochrome is, if we enable it, it just goes over the whole thing. So I'm going to show you from the very start how I created that look. Uh, so what we need to do first is draw a mask. There's a few ways to do it. What we can do is come over here to our mask manager. This shows us all the different masks that we create, and we can jump back to a mask if we ever want to use it multiple times. So the different ways to draw, we can hover over and see what options we have here. We have add brush, we can add a circle, an ellipse, a path, or a gradient. And so for this one, I did a circle. But what the brush does, it lets us just draw. So we can left click, and everything in black is what's going to be affected so we can kind of draw in a brush, but that's not perfect for the eye. It looks like a bunch of lines, but if we were to apply this, it would give kind of the same effect. It's just not as accurate as we would want. Control Z will undo that. What I used was the circle. And so if we do the circle and then we click, it creates a circle. We can use our scroll wheel inside of the circle to change the size, the scroll wheel on the mouse, or we can scroll wheel in here between to change the size of the feather. And if we just left click and drag, we can move it around. So we'll move this to the center of the eye and then we'll make the feather kind of go out to here or maybe we'll click and make the size go out to here and then the feather will come into about there. That's probably good. And the feather is just going to be fade, a kind of a fade for the mask. So it's not just such a harsh, hard cut over from the effect. It makes it look more natural or less obvious that a, that a module is being applied. Okay, now what we have in our manager, we have two brushes. We have this one that we created, and then we have this one that we created. So we can use either one that we want. And we could do a third. If we want, we can click on this path. And the, the what the path lets us do is left click, and every time we click, it creates a node, so we can do a, mo a much more advanced shape. So I'm just left clicking around this entire eye right now. And when I'm done, I can double click. Oh, is that how to do it? No, what do you do? Oh, you right click, right click to get out of it. So I've kind of messed that up a little bit. We can come in now and, and uh, just left click these and s adjust them individually to get just the shape we want. And again, it has a feather as well. We can hover over in between the, uh, the actual shape and the dotted line to adjust the feather, or we can click on the inside the actual shape and adjust the size of the whole thing we've drawn to by just rolling that scroll wheel, scroll wheel in and out. We can left click and move the whole shape around too, and we can adjust these individual nodes. They also have a handle on them if we want to adjust like the bow. We can do a little um, adjust the curve and the angle of the node, but that's maybe something we'll do more in, in the next tutorials. So all we've really done is drawn masks. We're not working with any modules right now. We can apply these three masks that we've drawn to any modules we want. So let's come over to that monochrome one and let's apply monochrome now. So we just enable it by clicking here, and it applies this monochrome module to the entire um, image. We've done this sort of in the past. We can move this around and sort of change the way that, that it's interpreting and, and looking at those. Uh, we can adjust this. I don't know if we're going to see much in this particular image. 
but we can still make all the different settings we want to change the entire image. But if we only want this module and its corresponding settings to apply to what's inside of our mask, we need to go to this blend under here where it says blend. Right now it says off. So we drew a drop down here and it says, what do you want to do uniformly, which is what we're actually doing now. We can click on that uniformly just means it applies it to the entire image evenly. Or we can do a drawn mask, which is what we want to do because we drew some masks here. We'll co cover these other ones later. We have parametric mask and drawn parametric mask. We'll do those ones later. But for now, just do drawn mask. And then we can we have these same tools down here that we can draw a mask. We can do a circle, an ellipse, a path, use the brush. It's the same tools that we have over here in our mask manager. And if we draw a mask over here, if we do like the ellipse and we draw an ellipse, it appears over here in our mask manager as well. So there's multiple tools we have for drawing them. I just wanted to show you, you can draw from the mask manager. And so now we see what happened with that ellipse. It applied the monochrome just where that ellipse was. So we can change the size of this and anywhere this shape uh, is at, it will be where our uh, effect is being applied. Well, we kind of want that to look a little bit different, don't we? Because we don't, we, I showed you earlier, it wasn't a black and white eye. It was a colored eye and everything else black and white. To invert the mask, we just click over here. Uh, we hover over this little line, this little icon with a circle with a line through it is called toggle polarity of the drawn mask. If we click that, then it toggles. And so now it's the opposite. So now we see the color and everything else is uh, black and white. If we want to do, we can now, if we click over here, right now we're using the shape called ellipse number four, but we can change to use something different. So if we, if we look over here under drawn mask, there's a drop down, and we could use this brush number one instead that we drew earlier, which is pretty much the same effect. We could use this circle, which is also going to be pretty much the same effect. Or we could use our, oh, we want to, we don't want to use all three. We want to use one or the other. Um, we could use our path number three, which is that line out here. So we have it set up to use all, all of them right now. If we hover over this, we say show and edit um, mask elements. So that just shows if they're on there being viewed. Sometimes, especially with this one, it gets in the way. So we can toggle to have it be not shown, but it's still being affected. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to remove. We've got a bunch of them on now. I'm not sure how to remove those. So what I'm gonna do is go to reset on here and we'll do the same thing with blend, but this time we'll only select one of them. So we'll go back to drawn mask and we will just use uh, just one of these masks. So let's use just this circle here and then we'll go to invert. So uh, that's really it. And then we can we could do the same thing if we didn't wanna do monochrome or we could leave the monochrome on and now we can grab another one like maybe, um, what should we do? this color contrast. If we go to color contrast now and enable color contrast, uh, if we make changes, it's going, well, since everything's black and white, this is kind of convenient for us, but we can go to our blend mode. We can go to drawn mask and just do again, this circle number two. And now the changes that we make, well, we can change sort of the color of that eye. We can make it look like a different color, more extreme. If that circle is bothering us, we can turn off seeing it, but still apply changes to it. And if we ever want to make changes, we can come over here to our mask manager and click on that circle number two, and then we can make changes to it. We can move it around. We might have to reapply it over there if we do that though. Oh no, it's going, it just, it just took a second. So it'll then make those changes to wherever we move it to on the image. We can even change the size of it. We can yeah, do all kinds of stuff. So that's basic drawn masks. Um, in the next video, we're gonna let's touch a little bit more on using the paths tool to draw our mask, and then also we're going to be um, looking at parametric masks as well. So go ahead and play with those. If you want to get something undone, we right click. We can go Control Z to undo things um, in Darktable. But I think I'm gonna leave this video here. And then uh, of course, like we learned in the past, if we want to export this, if we love the way this looks, we can just go to Light Table, click on the image and go down to our uh, export selected and click export. And that'll export just the selected image or any images selected. And that goes to our folder here in, uh, where was that image? Since that since that was in des um, downloads, it's going to be a new folder called dark table exported. And we have just this exported image. And again, 
like we just talked about before, our original image is still here unaffected, one of these ones. So we don't have to worry about uh, overwriting our image. If we ever want to get back to the original, we can definitely just do that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and leave your questions in the comments below. Play with masking. Just know that all, you'll look at all these different modules. They all have this blend option. So the sky is the limit on what you can do. You can even do exposure to a specific part of the image. Really, really powerful stuff. Play with drawn first. And um, once you get comfortable with that, we'll move on to parametric. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next tutorial.